Hi everyone, today is a perfume video and I'll be showing you progress on my project perfume. I've uh, started filming this mostly not because I need to finish up my perfumes, but because I just get a lot of questions on my channel regarding how do you finish perfumes? How do you finish this many perfumes a year? And uh, I'm just kind of documenting this for my subscribers to like have an idea of how I do that or like it, it, this is not magic. This is just stuff I use. Um, we have lots of progress today. Um, and uh, I finished up two perfumes and two are kind of running low. I'm going to rotate in one more. And so let's dive into it. Uh, one of the fragrances that I was definitely going to finish because there was almost nothing left at all, there were just a few sprays left, uh, is Parfum d'été from Kinzo. This is a good spring perfume. I finished it up even before I hit spring. It was kind of my um, winter to spring pick that I picked up quite a bit. I didn't have a lot left to begin with. I finished it off and there isn't anything left and I am going to be repurchasing it. I've repurchased it before. It is something that I do enjoy enough to buy again. The second perfume that I finished up uh, since our last talk was a surprise to me actually because I thought that there was quite a bit left, but it's one of those bottles that is opaque. Therefore, I cannot possibly know for sure how much is left over. And apparently it was way less than I thought. And this is Narcisse Rodriguez for her musk collection of the Parfum Entense. Um, this perfume is one of my absolute favorites. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, the problem with it is that it was limited edition. I bought two bottles when it came out. I used up both of them. This is the second bottle. So I don't actually have it again anymore but also I didn't want it to just sit there and not be used. I, I wanted it to be loved. Um, so beautiful Narcisa Rodriguez musk, absolutely gorgeous. I wish this was a permanent fragrance because I would definitely keep buying it um, on an ongoing basis as I was finishing it up. But unfortunately, it's just one of the perfumes that is not no longer available. So let me know if you know any uh, anything that is a dupe or a similar fragrance to the Narcisse Rodriguez for her Musk en Pense. And if you do, I will be forever grateful because I have found this scent for like hundreds of dollars on eBay and I'm just not doing that. So this is done. And the only way I knew that it was done is I kept spraying it and nothing else would come out and it's empty to the sound. But photo opaque bottles are awesome because they do keep fragrance fresher for longer. So it's a very good thing if you are you have photo opaque bottles, but the downside is that you have no idea when you're running out. Not at all. So this one is done as well. I am going to rotate in another one and I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it or just use it for a while and then see how it goes. Um, but I kind of want to give my Britney Spears a little bit more attention. This is a nostalgic fragrance for me that I generally wear to bed because it's comforting for me because when I was a kid, um, one of the first fragrances that I've ever owned was a Britney Spears one. Now this is not the original. I've owned original multiple times and I do keep it around oftentimes just because it is a comforting childhood scent for me. Um, and this one is not the original, but I like it more than the original actually. So if you like the original, but you wish it was just a little bit less um, ju junior, then you might enjoy this one. It's um, Rocker Femme Fantasy um, at the Parfum. And I have a big bottle. <laughs> this is 100 mils. Um, I generally, I can't find these, these uh, in smaller bottles. They just generally, whenever I buy them, they're sold in 100 mils. Um, I know they come in a smaller bottle and I wish I, I could buy a smaller bottle, but it's just, I don't come across the smaller bottles. So um, I have maybe about one fourth or one fifth of the fragrance missing at this point. So I'm, I have used it some. I'm not like a big fan of the scent to wear out necessarily. It's very sweet. Um, if you are familiar with fantasy and who isn't, because it is such a cult classic, um, you know, it is a very, very sweet scent. It's basically, it's a very fruity gourmand, um, not for everyone. If I tested it and wore it today for the first time, I would never <laughs> purchase it. But because I just have so many scent memories associated with it, it's just something that I keep around for, for memories and for nostalgia and for those happy 
um, hormones that uh, are triggered when you form those uh, neural connections in your brain that uh, connect emotions to sense. So I have a lot of positive emotions associated with it. Um, that's why I, I wear it to bed. It's very calming for me and it's very relaxing for me for that very reason. Um, again, it's not a favorite scent. It's not a scent that I just would use um, normally, but because I do have this connection with it, this memory connection with it, um, I like to keep it around. I kind of would like to get some use out of it, um, especially for bedtime. I think that's a good bedtime fragrance. My husband loves this type of a fragrance, um, something sweet, edible, and as just like much of a cookie dough scent as possible. So this is a nice pick. I think I'm going to rotate it in and use it for a while, probably rotate it out eventually, but I'd like to sort of pick at it a little bit. It's kind of fun to have something like that in there. Then we have the Aryan Lilac Path. This is a quintessential spring fragrance for me because it smells exactly like lilacs. It basically smells like a lilac bush. Very, very authentic, very solid floor, very particularly, um, uh, particularly high fidelity scent. So I like it a lot. When I started on it, it was about halfway through. I've used up some. I think I'll keep it around for another month or so um, and then keep the rest um, for later, so to say. And when I say for later, I mean for next spring. I only wear it for one or two months of the year, um, but I do wear it on a heavy rotation for those couple months. I don't actually want to finish it off right now. I just want to use some up and I generally reach for this fragrance a lot in the spring. So um, very pretty scent, very... Um, quintessential spring to me and I do actually enjoy the presentation the bottle is very beautiful if you are a fan of Armani um, bottles the Privé um, it's kind of similar they have a very similar aesthetic with Aaron um, so you know if you are into that so if you are into collecting bottles this is actually a very nice one to have um, we'll continue using it but obviously I have been making significant amount of progress I have been using my Chloe roses scent um, this is a small bottle and it was not a lot here to begin with I am almost done with it I do not believe that it will survive um, until the next update I think I'll be done with it there's almost nothing here it's a very springy green rose soapy scent a very uh, easy to pull off, kind of faceless. It's not a uh, uh, high personality or interesting kind of scent in any way. I don't think that it's a must have. I don't think it's beautiful um, to the point of creating this authentic persona. I don't think that it's any of those things. I think it is a simple, soapy, rosy, slightly green scent. Um, very very clinical in a way. And when I say clinical, I mean just like extremely clean. So I can understand why people would really like it. It's a utilitarian scent for me. It is not a like dream of spring scent, but it smells like very, very clean laundry that was drying outside basically, which I think is attractive. So I am attracted to the scent and it's such an easy pull. I don't have to think about it when I wear it because it isn't um, it doesn't have to fit the mood. It's just, it's just cleanliness in the bottle. So if you do enjoy it, give it a sniff. Um, I think it's very reminiscent of the original Chloe, which I do like for that very soapy quality. So it's a, it's a scent of a clean laundry um, detergent, <laughs> basically, if you like it. If you like that, I think you will like uh, Chloe Roses or Roses the Chloe. Um, and um, I basically, I don't have much left. There's very, very little here that is up for grabs for using up, um, which of course is going to be nice and easy for me to finish off. And finally, I have here um, one of the scents that I have owned for years. I bought over and over again, and I just want to get through some of the other number fives in my uh, perfume drawer. And so I was kind of heavily focusing on this guy since January. Um, I am making huge amounts of progress with my number five. Um, it's an eau de toilette formulation, not the eau de parfum. I enjoy it tremendously. This does have a vintage flair. So if you're not a fan of sort of vintage soap from the 50s, you might not like it, but I am a fan of that sort of a vintage um, vintage uh, reference 
So number five, uh, the toilet for me is a really, really nice scent. It does have a touch of civet in the base. So if you are not a fan of civet and it's not for everyone, uh, you will probably not be a fan of number five at the toilet. But if you do like a vintage wink, you're in your direction. Also, this scent is extremely easy for me to layer. It actually lays very well with a lot of different fragrances, mostly because it does have this very sort of clean vintage soap base. So lots of florals will layer beautifully on it. Aquatics layer very well on it because it does have that ald aldehydic lift that fits. Greener scents layer fairly well on it. Not all gourmands do, but there are certain ones that um, the if you are feeling like your gourmands are just a little juvenile, um, something like number five, Eau de Toilette, with a vintage flair can add a little bit of sophistication to the mix. So layering with certain gourmands works, with certain other ones definitely does not, so be careful about that. Don't be afraid to play with your fragrances. This is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be a good time. This is supposed to make you happy. So just layer them up and see what happens. What What's the worst thing? You don't like it, you can wash it off. It's fine. I used it as a bedtime fragrance for a lot of the month of March, and I layered it a ton as well. So it's just something that I would reach for free, pretty frequently for different purposes. Um, I encourage you to try and play with your fragrances and see if you're getting bored with one. Try to layer it with others and see what you can come up with because you might be really, really surprised by some pretty cool combos they can come up with. Um, for me, I think by next update, this will also be done. So I'll have to think about what I want to rotate in um, to... Uh, have a little bit more time with and generally I you know, add in things that I don't have a lot of um, so that's generally how I finish my fragrances when once I don't have a lot left I would just kind of reach more for it um, and this is just formalizing this tendency that I have anyway so two of them are probably going to be out next um, update two fragrances are out this update one of them definitely expected one of them didn't expect but didn't know much about how, how what was left in there because it's an opaque bottle one is rotating in uh, but without an intention to use it up completely I just want to sort of keep it around because I want to reach for it more uh, but I'll probably put it next to my bed on my nightstand to reach for it for bedtime and then um, this guy I'm actually not planning to completely use up I'm planning to use up maybe another 10 mils of it and then probably leave the rest for next spring. Before next update, I definitely need to think about what I want to focus on next um, and what I want to add in because I'll probably need two fragrances to put in here um, next time we speak. So tell me, did you finish anything in the last month or so? I'm always curious because I don't know how these things go for other people. So just leave that down below. Uh, or what have you been using the most? That's it for today. See you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Good luck and stay healthy, stay well, and stay safe. Bye-bye.